Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video of Fortnite Pro Player Update, we're going to be taking a look at Bugger's new mouse, as well as Face Mongrel's updated Fortnite settings, keybinds, and new mouse grip that he's currently using. Jumping straight into it, guys, we'll start off with taking a look at Bugger's new mouse. So for Bugger's new mouse, he's now using the Logitech G Pro Wireless. This mouse replaces his old mouse, which was the Final Mouse Air 58 Ninja in the color Cherry Blossom Blue. Now the reason for why Bugger actually switched out his mouse was so he could test out a wireless mouse. Before this, Bugger has never tried a wireless mouse before. He's only used wired mice, that's the Final Mouse F58 Ninja, and before that he used the Razer Death Adder. With the G Pro Wireless obviously being a wireless mouse, it does make quite a difference compared to wired mice, which Bugger was actually wanting to try out and see for himself. From watching him play with the G Pro Wireless the last couple of streams, I've noticed that he does seem to be really liking this mouse. He's playing just as good as he did with the Final Mouse, if not better. So to me, it definitely looks like we're going to be seeing him stick with with this mouse going forward. Another thing to mention as well guys is that the mouse pad that Bugger is currently using is the Logitech G640. This mouse pad and the mouse that he's using are both from the same company, Logitech, so I'd imagine that the mouse pad pairs quite nicely with the mouse as the most likely were designed to be paired up together. But yeah guys that's Bugger's new mouse covered. If he does end up changing it I'll keep you guys posted. For now though we'll now move on and take a look at Mongrel's updated Fortnite settings, keybinds and his new mouse grip. Before we get into these updates Updates though guys, I do want to quickly just apologise for all of the mongrel updates recently. He's been changing a lot of stuff and I've actually made quite a few videos about it, but I think this one will be the last one for a little while, unless he does end up changing his sense like tomorrow for example. We'll have to see guys, you know what mongrel is like with his sense recently. Moving on though guys, I'll start off with mongrel's updated Fortnite settings. So starting off with his video settings, he's got his view distance on medium and everything else is on low slash off. His frame rate limit is capped at 240fps and his his resolution is now 1798 by 1080 which is a stretched resolution. If you guys want to know more about this stretched res and its benefits because it has quite a few I've actually made a video on it. A link to that will be in the description below. Also in that video guys there's also a tutorial so you guys can set up the res just like Mongrel has it. Next we've got Mongrel's updated game settings. His X and Y sense are now both set at 0.092. His targeting sense is now on 0.283 and his scope sense is now on 0.0. 0.243. For his mouse DPI, he's still playing on 400 DPI, no change there, and these are the rest of Mongrel's updated game settings. For Mongrel's brightness, he's now playing on 0.63. For his audio settings, he has his music on 0, and the rest of his settings are still on the max. 1.0. Unfortunately guys, I still don't know what Mongrel's headset mixer settings are, but once he does end up sharing them, I'll be sure to let you all know. Next we've got Mongrel's colorblind setting. For this, he's playing on Deuteronope 8. And that's all for Mongrel's updated Fortnite settings. Now let's take a look at his updated keybinds. Starting off with his building keybinds, there's been no changes here, these are all the same. For his loadout keybinds, there's also been no changes here, these are all the same too. And for his other keybinds, these again guys are the same, there's been no changes here. Moving on to his extra key binds, this is where there's been some changes. Mongrel's changed his rotate key from using T to now using G, and he's also changed his repair key from using the number 6 to now using the number 1, and he's also changed his ping slash place marker key from using the front G04 mouse button to now using the letter V. And as well as that guys, Mongrel is still using the scroll wheel reset trick, but he's actually now changed the finger in which he scrolls his mouse wheel with, which brings us to our next update, Mongrel's new mouse grip. For Mongrel mouse grip he's always played with the claw grip. When using this grip he would just use his index finger to scroll his mouse wheel. However now he's actually stopped doing that and he now uses his next finger which is his middle finger to scroll. I'm not fully sure yet if he has fully switched to the three finger claw. This grip for those that don't know is just like the standard grip but instead you've got your middle finger hovering over the scroll wheel. I've seen a few other pros actually use this grip and we could see Mongrel actually switch to it but for now though I think he's just going to stick with the standard claw grip where he just has his index finger on the left click and the rest of his fingers are on the right click side. We'll have to just wait it out guys and see what grip he does end up using going forward. But yeah guys that's all the updates I've got for today. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy and as well as that guys if you would like to support me you can do this easily by using my code code life in the Fortnite item shop when purchasing Fortnite skins. It really does help me out guys and is greatly appreciated. So a massive thank you if you do end up purchasing any skins with my code. And yeah hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.